Wow. Well, Bernie has officially made it back to the shop in Colorado. We're gonna get him unloaded, try to back up and get the right angle into the shop to try to make it as easy as possible. We're gonna get the transmission pulled out, look at all the destruction, and then try to get a new transmission put back in this thing. And I'm already thinking about some upgrades to make. So let's go ahead and get him into the shop and get to work. Well, Bernie's officially in the shop and ready for a makeover. So not too bad getting it in here, get it straightened out, set up, jacked up, and get that tranny out of there. And we're going to see how bad it really is. Uh, driving back to the hotel at night, there's already parts falling out of it. On our way home from Florida, I had to stop and get some straps and strap the tranny together because the two halves were just falling apart. It, it's a big mess. So we're going to get it out and the millions of pieces that I'm sure that it's in and then go from there. Hey, what do we got going on right here? Check stand Bernie. There's the, there's the transmission. You guys can see. There's all the internals to the transmission uh, that you shouldn't be able to see from this view. The pump blew up, everything. It, it's, a, it's a dang mess in there. And there's a bunch of stuff in the trans blanket right here. So we're going to get these straps undone. I'll get a tranny jack underneath it. Then we got to release this. All the stuff will probably fall out of this dang thing. And we'll figure it out from there. We did a number on this one, boys. The cat came off of it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, got it. Push us out. The angle's not so good right at that point. <laughs> All right. Well, we got the trans jack out. It's sitting there. Uh, probably going to hold the weight of it while we get the cross member out. And we try to drop that thing down and then unravel the blanket as well as we got to unhook the linkage from it. Otherwise, the training will pretty much fall out as soon as it can slide back. We haven't even done undone any bell housing bolts, but we're just seeing if we can kind of lower it and see where it goes. <laughs> so loose. Okay, now let me see. We might still be up in the converter. I think we're apart now. <laughs> God dang, what a disaster. The bands, that's so insane. Woo, clutches, bands. Big old mess. Look at the band. Freaking quarter inch steel right there. That's, that's wild. Holy crap. We did a number. <laughs> there you go. Oh man, that's, that's not good. No. <laughs> It ain't never good when you can just start <laughs> with this. We'll just rebuild it in the truck, shoot. Yeah. Mass destruction. There. Let me grab the bands out of the tranny real quick. <laughs> no freaking way. That's insane. I see a tranny fall apart the rest of the way. Yeah, we'll try to carry it out as much as we can. And then we'll the tell shot compared to the... Yeah, well, look at this. Oh my god. Wow. Woo. This is insane. So that's one of the pieces. We still got more to pull out of there. Are you kidding me? This is completely disintegrated, this thing. That's that's wild. Hold that thought here, people. Yeah. Sure enough, it got the blanket. I can see it from here. See if I can pull the cable out of the way. Wow. <laughs> well, let's see what we got here. So there we go. That's crazy. So check that out where it that's right where i felt it in the truck hit so if i would not have had this blanket yeah. this Look. saved my freaking legs inside right there to outside yeah and even one little tear compared to all that if this doesn't show you right here you should put a tranny blanket on your trans like i know this is extreme case and i should not have been doing what i did and the trannies but Shit happens, right? That tranny blanket, like, I think those things are 200 some bucks. 
money, best money I could possibly spend at this point. Uh, since it disintegrated the transmission and it literally shot parts in a sense where it was trying to come through, the blanket is right where my legs were at. Like I told you guys, I could feel it in like in the cab. So then there's kind of probably a little spot right here. I wonder and if was this that. dented like that before. I don't. I don't. I don't think, think so. so. <laughs> yeah. Tranny, tranny fluid in the hair. Yep. Yeah, I don't think that that was like that beforehand, so it completely dented that. This could have been extremely terrible, and I'm just glad that I put a blanket on this thing. I knew doing extreme burnouts and high RPM stuff that stuff could come apart, but that's that's wild that it it did that to the blanket and stuff. I'm just I'm thankful that uh, that I had it and it used it some over here which some of this could be from like it driving home like literally the diaper was what was keeping it together but this was right in the area where it, i felt it hit the tunnel but not saying that it might not have made it worse from driving home and stuff but it definitely took a hit and and saved some stuff from coming out of the transmission and into the truck possibly but that is just that's what's left over that's that's our transmission now all the parts and pieces that are just in here somehow i think we the uh aftermarket deep pan might have survived but other than that i don't know of anything that would be salvageable out of this thing so everything's pretty much done the trans wow. brake might still be good. yeah the, my trans brake solenoid's probably all right which we're not really using but planetary i don't know planetary stuff is still kind of there but all the Clutches, everything's just destroyed. Which some of this I'm sure is a little worse from riding 1,800 miles home from Florida. I tore up a bunch of stuff. Even the linkage is all messed up. And it busted off the trans cooler lines. Like off the side of the case right here. Like they're just busted off inside the fitting. Which is crazy. Jeez. Oh, and we still got to unbolt the rest of the bell housing and converter. And all of that. We'll work on getting the rest of that stuff out. The plan is we'll be taking the transmission out of Salty and gonna pop it in here. So a lot of the stuff I use is a lot of the same parts. Salty's got, the, that was actually Salty's backup or original transmission that became a backup and it matches the transmission that's in Salty currently. So, and that thing's been in there like two years, so that'll be perfect. I'll take that, put it in here. And then after kind of what happened with this, I'm thinking with the power that I want Salty to make in the future, we'll probably work on doing hopefully a full aftermarket glide, if not just at least a bell housing something, uh, so it has a safer transmission in it as well. All right, now we got the mess cleaned up, and now we're going to work on getting the bell housing out of here, the pump, input shaft, all this stuff off. It's so crazy looking in here, and then you guys can see it did, uh, did mess up some of this. It looks like it beat it up. Pretty decent. I'll have to look on the inside from where I felt it when I did the burnout. Um, you guys can see right here, there's this big hump from where it hit. So now looking at that, underneath the truck, guys. So it's not this spot right here, but this all right here. So this big dent right here, pretty sure it's from all that. Let's test this theory real quick. <laughs> Twisted it up in the. Here's the input shaft. What I'm trying to figure out. Uh, well, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. That's, that's ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, that's crazy. <laughs> well, there's the, there's the rest. Got the <coughs> housing. Yeah. So it was a piece of the tunnel holding the bell houses while we had to rotate it. I guess, yeah. That's what it looked like. All right, so now that the transmission out, we have about one, two, three thousand pieces out here. Uh, front, middle, and rear of a power glide that we should not have a front, middle, and rear. But it's all out. Everything's destroyed. Not coming back from that. Thank goodness for the transmission diaper and everything there. Uh, as I'm pulling this stuff out, I'm just super thankful for how it went. 
as far as like it's terrible but if a piece would have came through the truck and hit my leg like i don't even really want to think about that but you kind of have to and realize that thank goodness i had some safety equipment on there and i was protecting myself and all that so if you guys are looking to do anything in the future with a stock case transmission period and you're going to be high performance and sending it and stuff put a transmission blanket on there like i said like 220 bucks best money i could have ever spent insurance for me people around me just keeping everything together and saving you know saving some really bad things from possibly happening uh, otherwise bernie should hopefully be back together soon we are going to get the transmission pulled out of salty probably in the next video and then i just got to figure out what i'm doing with the converter and all that stuff then we can throw it in here if i'm going to leave this converter in we could literally just slap that in there um get a new dipstick and all that and then we should be back and ready to rip so if you want to see those videos, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're going to be bringing you a lot more videos, getting Bernie back up and running and sending it again very, very soon. Thank you to all the new subscribers and all the new watchers that came in from the last few videos from doing all the burnout stuff. I can tell you guys really, really enjoy it. And that's awesome. And we're going to be bringing you guys a whole lot more of that. We just need to get this thing fixed. See you guys next time.